I can't believe we're actually going to spend the holidays in a castle. It's exciting, I know. There's just one thing that's bugging me. Do you think Aussie's dad? No. I don't think he's plotting to fatten us up and eat us. How do you know what I was going to ask? You asked me the same thing yesterday about the mailman. Well, excuse me for being careful. You know, Aussie. This is the first time I've actually shared a back seat with another kid on a car trip. We have a sort of sibling thing going on. I have to make up for a lost time. How do you mean? Could you put some part of yourself on my side, so I can throw a fit? Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we th? You know, Militant, a wise man once said, See the world as yourself, and then you can care for all things. At any given moment, then, we are in all places, and you, dear girl, are asking the wrong question. What? Yes, that's much closer. I give you the Lululun family Idaho vacation home. It needed some cleaning for the occasion, of course. For example, I was determined to remove the vents of boiling oil before Millicent arrived. Dang it, I'm having my same old Christmas dilemma. One part of me really, really wants to know ahead of time what my presents are. And another part of me realizes that everybody who does know is too big to push down and sit on. Ozzy, Ozzy, there's a secret passageway between the library and the study. I stumbled on it a few minutes ago, and what I was there chilled me to the very core. Your presents weren't there, either? This is driving me crazy. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the lair only Millie was stirring up worries and cares. So this is Christmas, the little fox fretted and none of my various fears are abated. Could I have been better? Did I do what I should? And did my spin doctoring make me look good? And she thought then of war and starvation and pain as visions of hopelessness danced in her. Brain perspective is seldom a friend to good cheer but before she descended to guilt, doubt and fear she was lulled by a wondrous, wondering thought. In a few hours I find out what presents I got. So she drifted to dreamland. For it was enough to be saved by the magical power of stuff. And so the muds were introduced to the world of dragon holiday rituals. Exotic holiday beverages. New and different carols. Oh, oh you'll get gold. Oh, you'll get gold. It, it, it never fails. It never fails. If you knock over the Christmas tree with your hands tail. Keeping the angry, torch-wielding villagers away. I didn't realize Idaho was so full of backward xenophobes. You didn't? Going to make another one of those resolutions that's easy to keep? No, I've kind of rethought that strategy. If I make a resolution I can keep. There's all this pressure. But if I pick something everybody knows is impossible, I don't have to do anything. You could resolve to treat resolutions as opportunities for self-improvement rather than annoying technicalities. I was thinking more of resolving to painlessly get that band-aid off my knee. The start of a new year is really just an arbitrary division of time. I mean, the renewal is all in our heads. On the other hand, when you think about it, so is everything. Time is meaningless until we give it meaning. I say, if it makes us better people, there's nothing wrong with an arbitrary division of reality. How does that explain? It doesn't. I was just distracting you so you'd hold still. 